a developer has made changes to a subflow under source control. In order to share those changes with other developers, the one who has changed the flow must do which of the following? Option A. Save the message flow file. Option B. Save the message flow and check into the source control manager. Option C. Save the message flow and check it into the configuration manager. Option D. Save the message flow and check it into the source control manager and then check it into the configuration manager. The correct answer is option B. A user is migrating message flows to multiple export files. Which of the following best describes what happens if duplicate subflows are found during the process? Option A. Unresolved properties values are not preserved. Option B. Migrated subflows in the same file will be overwritten without warning. Option C. A warning message will be issued indicating that to prevent overwriting the subflow a postfix has been appended. Option D. Unresolved nodes are not preserved. The correct answer is option B. Which of the following statements is not true about namespaces? Option A. Changing the associated preferred prefix does not affect the logical model. Option B. If namespaces are enabled for the message set, XMLNS attributes from an input XML document are not stored in the tree. Option C. It can be specified for both the ID attribute name and value attribute name. Option D. Namespaces are enabled automatically with XML message sets. The correct answer is option D. Which of the following nodes may use a mapping? Option A. Database. Option B. Data insert. Option C. Warehouse. Option D. Compute. Option E. Mapping. Option F. Reset content descriptor. The correct answer is option B, C, E.